What's good? <clears throat> What's good with y'all? I got a message. Not a, you know, something like that, but got some knowledge and information to share with you guys. As this, as this sun is beaming on me and I'm getting this sunlight, it's hot. So you guys can see that. Now, although you know the beginning stages of enlightenment or process of ascension, you know that you should know the enlightenment uh, process is basically just basically basically just the realization of um knowing that you don't know anything and that's the beginning step and process to become enlightened in the beginning of ascension which you have to go into when you have woken up from your, your sleep and you're awaking your dream and this is what it means to become woke and awake conscious and stuff like that the such in the nature now Here's the things going down in the future that I'm aware of as this uh, energy comes through through me channeling and stuff because I'm an embodiment of the sun, earth, and moon, and also Venus and other planets of that nature. The universe, basically. God, I'm God. So, anyway, you have to know that melanin is going to conquer the world. Chaos rules. Now, here's the best part about it. When the chaos comes into the into the uh, solar form of light, and the light rays bounce off and hit the uh, body, mind, and spirit, which is going to resonate with you if you are on the level of the frequency of the Earth, because the Earth is going through a, a, an ascension, and you have to be ready for her to ascend into a new paradigm and dimension. And once this takes place, this will happen. Okay. The parasites on the planet, like I said before one of my videos, but I deleted my channel. The parasites will be banished. They're, 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 the parasites will no longer be able to exist and live on Earth. The people that are low vibration and low frequency and vibration. And the ones that are sucking and destroying the Earth dry and stuff like that. And they are the ones that are going to be destroyed. It don't matter if you're black or white or Spanish, Chinese. If you low vibration, you can't. You if you can't handle the heat, go home. And this is what's going to happen with the sun. The sun is going to emit these frequencies of uh, light codes and codes from the from the sun from the sunlight because the Earth is in total un union with the sun and the moon. Because if you understand it's photosynthesis, the sun needs the Earth needs the moon. I mean, the Earth needs the sun, and the moon uh, influences the Earth. So you understand that there's a whole tri trinity, trinity here that is taking place because there is a father, mother, and, uh, and son involved with these spiritual aspects and concepts. But you have to understand there is spiritual warfare going down once these things take place. And it's already taking place now with the psychic, the psychic, psychic attacks on the minds of uh, us of people and humans. And you have to understand that everyone is not going to make it. And even if it's your family, friends, or close friends, or family, or relatives, whatever, if you love them so much, then help them so much. But if they can't make it, then don't fuck around with that. You can't help them. You can't save the whole world. You got to save yourself. And um, the sun is going to emit these frequencies from uh, a higher dimension and going to penetrate and... Uh, go through the, the veil which is going to activate the melanin the dark matter melanin the ether nine and and make something happen with that and it's gonna it's gonna make it it's gonna make us basically immortal or we're gonna be coming becoming immortal and the sun has to be at a certain height and it's and it's uh uh I want to say the light the light spectrum because when you look at the light spectrum you got red um, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, and or violet, and then you got uh, magenta and gold. And when you hit gold, when the sun reaches gold, that's when the melanated people on the earth will rise up and stand tall because the rest of them died off. It's an easy win. It's an easy win-win because we don't have to fight that much. It's just that we have to deal with our minds. We have to get our mindsets right. We have to get our mindsets right. And the mind state of the of the black man and the black woman is not totally. I'm lagging here. I'm sorry. I hope this video is good. 
mindset of the black man and woman is not totally organized and situated as far as like the spiritual concepts and aspects go with the, uh, spirituality and melanin and dark matter and chaos. So us, me being a melanated person, you know I got to represent. You know I'm going to speak on these things. You know I'm going to stand tall and represent. You know I'm going to uh, hate on the ones that are trying to mess, mess and destroy with the earth. Because I'm I'm an earth man. I'm a nature boy, and I, I represent the earth. I represent the moon, the sun. I'm a sun. I'm um I'm the child of the sun. I am a peacemaker. I'm the prince of peace, the king of intuition, and the king of the air. And I am a god. And what you guys have to realize is that you have half the battle already happening um, within this uh, dimension. This your mindset. Your mindset is half the battle. The other half, the other half is spiritual, which will take place in the future with the sun. So I'm giving y'all that that download for y'all to get ready because melanin is going to rule the planet. Black people, will, the the ancient, the old things is going to come back. The ancient God is going to come back. The new being of chaos and destruction is going to come back. I forgot his name. I think it's um Shakti or something, uh, Osiris or something like that. But I forgot if it's Anubis or whoever, but there's going to be a being to destroy that that other half of these races that are going to that that have been hurting and destroying the earth, and they're going to penetrate their soul and it's going to destroy their soul. So it's a soul eater. That's what the anime Soul Eater comes from. I never watched it all the way, but I've, I've seen some of it where the demons eat the soul, or the sword eats the soul, and, you know, shape shift into a human, other stuff of that nature. But this is this is the real. I'm sorry, I'm lagging like a mug, man. I'm lagging like shit. I don't know why it's a video. I shouldn't be lagging like this. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Um, stay tuned, man. Stay in tune with with the, with the earth, man. Because it's all you can do when you can't focus on this matrix too much. You can't be worried about the matrix or whatever or such maybe. What is this lip? It's fucking. What the fuck is going on with this shit? This shit was just bright as a mug and then it just died out. Fuck. It's like that. <laughs> yeah. So, whoever ain't on that level of consciousness and they're not awake, then they can't be around you. They can't handle. They can't tolerate because they don't want to wake up. And that's the problem here with a lot of people because the whole goal, the ultimate goal for the earth is for everyone to ascend, but not everyone wants to ascend, so they're going to stay trapped and stuck. So that's where my part comes into, where I'm just going to try to save the world and influence the world to make a world peace, and, and then we get on, then we get the ball rolling, and then we start to ascend. So thank y'all for watching once again. Your boy's outside now. Peace.